The CCNA certification is the first level on the Cisco certification journey. The Cisco Certified Network Associate certification requires both the ICND-1 and ICND-2 exams. The ICND-2 picks up where the ICND-1 leaves off, going more in-depth and requiring knowledge of a larger number of configuration and verification exams. The ICND-2 exam covers topics related to modern networks, going deeper into advanced LAN switching features like spanning tree protocols, virtual LANs, and VLAN trunking. It also goes deeper with IP subnetting, including variable length subnet masks. It goes beyond the RIP routing protocol included in ICND-1 to include more advanced routing protocols like EIGRP and OSPF. The exam consists of 40 to 50 questions. These questions are multiple choice and drag and drop and also include hands-on sims, simlets, and testlets designed to test your practical knowledge. The passing score varies depending on the number and type of questions. You have between 75 and 90 minutes to take the exam. Note that the test does not allow you to skip a question and go back later. The exam is available in several languages, including English, Japanese, Chinese, Spanish, Russian, Korean, French, and Portuguese. In order to take the exam, you must first register with Pearson View, have personal identification such as a social security number and a credit card ready when registering. Pearson View can aid in finding the closest testing center to you. They can also help you by phone if necessary. Many examinees find the following topics to be more difficult portions of the exam. IP subnetting questions can be especially challenging. You must be skilled at interpreting the terminology surrounding subnetting, mastering the mathematics needed, both remembering which processes to use and knowing how to use them and applying the IP addressing and routing concepts while working with the mathematics. Time pressures also make this exam challenging. First, you cannot skip questions and go back later. Thus, it's easy to waste time on topics where you're unsure of the answer. Second, the sims, simlets, and testlets are particularly time-consuming, taking anywhere from four to eight minutes. Thus, it's important to budget your time wisely. Questions on this exam can include the use of variable length subnet masks, which introduces the possibility of subnets with overlapped address ranges that are not easily identified. Spanning tree protocol tends to give people the most problems. In real life, most people have STP enabled, and it works, and there is no need to pay much attention to it, so it requires some deeper book learning. Access control lists can also pose a challenge particularly when thinking through how to match various TCP and UDP port numbers, both source and destination. Finally, OSPF, a complex IP routing protocol, can cause some issues. Fortunately, most of the details of OSPF are not introduced until the CCNP certification, specifically the Route 642-902 exam. In order to prepare for the exam, we recommend that you review the exam objectives found at the Cisco Learning Network. We also recommend that you practice on the CLI, buy used gear, use emulators, use the simulator, rent or borrow gear, but plan to practice the configurations and spend time understanding the router and switch commands. The CertSkills.com website has some links to help you work through the topic of building a CCNA lab. It is also advisable to practice subnetting, especially with VLSM, until you can do it all, do it well, and do it fast. Finally, take advantage of the Cisco Learning Network. You can pose questions and often get multiple answers in just minutes. It's a hugely popular place for folks to collaborate on their path towards Cisco certification. For primary study, we recommend the CCENT CCNA ICND2 Official Exam Certification Guide by Wendell Odom. The premium ebook version includes four complete ICND2 practice exams, four full CCNA practice exams, and enhanced practice test features. We also recommend the CCNA 640802 Network Simulator for building your hands on skills. 
Additionally, many people find the CCNA flashcards and Pearson smartphone apps helpful for practice and hands-on experience. PearsonITCertification.com is your trusted source for certification preparation materials, including books, ebooks, videos, flashcards, simulations, and more. Connect to us via Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and subscribe to our on certification channel in iTunes. Completing the ICND will complete your journey to CCNA. This opens up a much wider set of options. You may choose to go wide and pursue additional concentrations in security, voice, wireless, or service provider operations. Alternately, you may choose to go deeper into routing and switching and pursue the CCIP, which has a decidedly service provider bias, or the CCNP, which is more enterprise-oriented. Good luck! <laughs>